Hello everybody, welcome back to part 5 of this air dry sculpting demonstration where I'm, I'm making a monkey. In this video I'm redefining a lot of the features and I'm changing it to really look a lot more monkeyer than it was. All in time lapse. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing on my list to do was to fix this thing's nose. It is just huge, big big old honking nose definitely not w what monkeys look like I'm looking at a monkey this time around so I'm looking at like this baby chimpanzee and he's making a monkey face and none of these monkeys even the like gorillas and stuff had a huge nose like that they were r rather flat to the face you know even more than I did with this right here I etched into the face the general layout of the wrinkles just a basic few lines to get started and then I, later on when I brush those out it really makes it look like it's finished but it, I can add more details and finer lines onto these now later on which I plan on doing but it's not quite done even though it looks like it's kinda done then I just added some clay f for the upper lip just rolled out a log and positioned it on there to where it looked like he was kinda like uh, the image I was going by kind of looks like he was puckering for a kiss or just making a monkey face. And I'm trying to even it out by adding clay in to the bottom side of it. And I, I build it out a little bit using some balls of clay to put the bottom lip on. Because I wanted it to really come out there. And I fill that in all around. And this gives it a really, really cool look when looking from the side anyways. And what I was trying to do here was dig out where the lips, it's in the image I was looking at, it, there's no teeth, it's just like a void. And I was trying to dig down in there and make it look like it did in the picture, but I was worried I was going to go too far. So I'll just do this after everything's pulled out. I'll probably dig in there some more. But it looked like I was kind of setting up some teeth. It's not really what I was doing right there. And now I'm solving that little ear problem that I had. A few of y'all mentioned in the last video that the monkeys have much bigger ears and the ones I had on there were really small. So this is an awesome way to just make the ears a lot bigger in a, in a real simple one step method. I just rolled out some snakes, flattened them out, and I'm adding them on there to the outer edge get them on there and make sure they're pretty balanced and everything and kind of tool them on and on the back side I added some clay and just blended it in and that really does a lot it looks a lot better between the, the nose the mouth and now these larger ears it is totally a monkey now there's no question about it and I'm really excited about this little project how well this is turning out to add more realism, I now I'm taking my loop tool and I'm trying to cut more details into like that piece of clay that I just added on onto that. I'm trying to cut like more ear-like textures and stuff into there. Okay, for this part, I'm just taking this nylon brush and adding some water and running it around there on the on the face, and it kind of like softens up and becomes really silky and if you watch what you're doing you can make this really really smooth it's really neat smoothing this out as opposed to smoothing out polymer clay with this you just use straight water and the the rate at which it like smooths is a little quicker with this clay than it is with polymer clay I, I don't know it's there's definitely a different vibe between the two clays and I'm, I'm finding this clay to be very fascinating the only problem is I don't know what to do with them when I'm done. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, in the next video, I'll probably be doing some finer details. And I'll probably remove that core for you so you can see how I do that part. So until then, drop me a comment and let me know what you think about this video in this series in general so far. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. And don't forget to like the video. It really helps me a lot. I love you guys when you do that. And until next time, I'll see you here again soon.
Thank you so much for watching.